everyone. Today I'm here for a quick unboxing from Rosemary and Company. Rosemary and Company released some new travel brushes recently and I wanted to try them out so that's what's in this box. So I will go ahead and open them up. And they're always really good about having recyclable packaging, a nice little sticker, okay, some catalogs. All right, so it looks like these are all on a strip of tape. I'm just gonna take those off there, put the box to the side. Okay, so the majority of these are sable mix brushes and I think they were advertised as sort of student brushes. So let's take a look and see what they look like. Oh, it looks like I need to cut these open. Let's go from the top where that sealed. All right, so this one is R17, which is a sable mix round. Put the scissors off to the side there. Size small, it says, oh, so it's just talking about generally the pocket brushes on the back. And then this one is labeled, so that's good. Uh, she didn't used to label them, but now, but now they're pretty much all labeled on the side, which is great because I don't have to label them. Oh, that's cute, okay. All right, and I don't know what this would be equivalent to as far as, you know, a six or an eight or whatever, but that one's very nice. And I think this is the same mix of brush material as in the dagger that I have, or the daggers that I have. Okay. Go to the next one, which is a R18 Sable Mix Round Medium. This was a small that I just opened, and this is a medium. Okay, so maybe I'll leave these open so we can compare the sizes. So that's the small. This is the medium. Looks like some of those hairs got a little astray there. If that ever happens, usually when you get them wet, you can kind of coax them back into place. I don't know, yeah, you can kind of see there that there's a little hair sticking off to the side, but usually that's not, that's not terrible to have that happen because it can usually be coaxed back into place and then it works fine. All right, so this is the same, but at large. They're all in the same size container. Oh yeah, and this one got a little fuzzy too. I have a feeling that the cap is a little small for this one. So there, those are the three sizes. Small, medium, and large. You can kind of see. All right. And I'm gonna put these little containers to the side. Open this last one. And this is a Pure Kalinske Short Flat. Oh, it says on here, this is a size six. Um, does it say for, no, it just says small, medium, M and large for these. So, so this is a size equivalent to a size six flat, short flat. And this was also a new travel brush to her fairly recently. I had a, um, a bright in this, which is basically just a square brush. Um, that, and that went out a little bit further and was a little narrower. And my husband ended up using that one because he likes to use a flat brush as his main brush. So, and, I, and I'm not that crazy about them for using as my main brush, certainly. But I got this one because I thought it would be kind of nice to replace my square brush in my collection since he has it. Um, and also just to try it out because it's a new brush. So that's, oh, and this one is not labeled, so I will have to put a label with my label maker on that one. But these are all, yeah, these have their numbers and names on them. Okay, so that's it for today. 
just these brushes. I'll go ahead and cap them back up, see how that goes. And um, I really, like with, with very rare exception, I really do love these rosemary brushes. They're, uh, in my prior video where I went through my travel brushes, which I'll link below, I, there's only one by her that I'm not the biggest fan of, and that's really just personal preference. I don't think it's necessarily because it's a bad brush. It's just not one that speaks to me as far as painting with. All right, and these were really inexpensive, these new these new ones. The Kalinske Sable, pure Kalinske Sable one was a little bit more expensive, but, um, but these little uh, round brushes were actually pretty inexpensive, even with them being in pounds, because the exchange rate as of the date of this video is actually really good. So that's it for today. Have a great day. Feel free to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.